Today on Keeping It Local, I'm taking you to a 3D printing farm, one of only a handful in the world. Slant 3D in Nampa is on the leading edge of a new industry, helping businesses in need of plastic parts in a whole new way. Here's how. So these were the, the, the parts and the products that started it all. This is Gabe Benz, the president of Slant 3D. He started his entrepreneurial adventure making these little robots, little bots he calls them. When sales took off, he needed an efficient and affordable way to crank them out. That's when Slant 3D was born. Had to produce our own product and then it got large enough that it could be a resource to other people creating products. So people could make large quantities of parts without that high initial cost of molds and tooling. With large banks of 3D printers, the farm, as Gabe calls it, works around the clock. If you're starting a new product of some kind, you don't want to have to build all the infrastructure yourself when you get started. We save them 100% of the cost for tooling because you would normally have to buy a $5,000 mold, a $10,000 mold, and then you get your first part. Here with 3D printing, you're able to actually make 1,000 parts for $1,000. And you're able to get started, test that market, and then change the design, move forward. You have a flexibility and an ease of access that is not possible with traditional manufacturing. Slat 3D has hit on a need, and the variety of orders, well, they now run the gamut. So right now, these machines in this particular mode are working on a number of different parts. These down here are actually pieces for RC cars that a small company in California is working on building. Some of these other machines are working on simple parts like pencil holders, one of the most recent ones. These are actually an Echo Dot holder for Nickelodeon and Amazon that we oh. did during the Christmas season there for them. But what's their most interesting order so far? One of the best orders that we've ever done is actually in prosthetics. We worked with a company named Limforge a, a couple of years ago where they were actually making prosthetics hands for kids in Africa that were just very simple hands to let them be marginally functional again. And those are the really neat kind of projects that we have come through that we get to work on. Because it's fun to see what other folks are creating and it's fun to be working with something where the answers aren't all there yet. It's in progress and growing. Right now, Slant 3D is able to produce about 10,000 parts per week, but that will be increasing significantly soon. This is definitely an Idaho company on the move. And next week, I'm going to show you how Slant 3D leveraged the help of the SBDC, that's the Small Business Development Center, to get this company off to a great start. And Brian, the SBDC, as I've, I've mentioned this to people before, we did an interview on it a mm -hmm. couple weeks ago, it is largely a free resource for businesses and it may be that you know someone or maybe you yourself are trying to get a start in business and you need some help. I can't tell you enough about what the SBDC does, but next week we'll really fill you in because when you see how they helped Gabe and how that's really helped him to grow yeah. into a company that is now producing materials for, for businesses around the world, I think it'll be pretty inspiring. Well, he's certainly taken advantage of it. He and really has, take, yeah. Talk about taking advantage of an industry that is really taking off the 3D yeah. printing world. It is amazing. So that's just cool stuff. Isn't it though? Yeah. I, I was so excited to see, you know, I've heard about 3D printers. I've, you know, I've heard that they're at the library and that kind of thing. Right. But to see how someone could now create a whole farm. And Brian, we couldn't show you the whole farm because they were printing up proprietary parts for sure. companies. And so I was only able to show you one bank of those printers. You're looking at it right there. But it's much larger and it is growing out at the um, out at the accelerator, the Nampa accelerator, the business accelerator. And so I, I expect we'll hear great things from them in uh, months and years to come. Okay.